So I'm going to break this review into two parts. The first part is going to be the spoiler free review. The second part is going to be spoilers all over the place. Okay, first part of the review. Movie fucking sucked. Worst fucking comic book movie i ever seen. And don't go see it. It's a fucking piece of shit. But you're going to go see it anyway because you've seen the other two movies and you're invested into the character. So you want to go see it and see how it ends. Well, I felt the same way. Believe me, it's a waste of money. The worst money I've ever spent in my life. This movie is a piece of goddamn shit. This movie sucks ass. First part of the review, over. Second part of the review, let's begin. This movie is a travesty. This movie is a piece of fucking shit. It's a waste of seven dollars and fifty cents that I paid for the goddamn matinee. Where do I start with this movie? Okay, well let's start with. I'm not even gonna get to the main, main, main gripe about this movie, but but let's start with. Tony Stark's having these goddamn fucking anxiety attacks everywhere. This guy can't even fucking talk to a little kid without having an anxiety attack. Oh my god, what's going on? You know, I went out of space in New York. There's aliens everywhere. I can't take it no more. Blah, 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 blah. He has these fucking anxiety attacks. And they never resolve the damn issue with the anxiety attacks at the end of the movie. It's like he just has these fucking anxiety attacks and then boom, whatever. And then... And the beginning of this movie fucking is so damn cheesy. It, it felt like the you know Batman in the 60s. It was so damn corny and quirky the way the movie started. It didn't have any of the natural feeling that you got from the previous two Iron Man movies. And I went on record when Iron Man 2 came out. I'm like, look, this movie wasn't really this good. This was wrong with this movie. This was what wrong with this movie. This was what wrong, you know, what's wrong with this movie. It's not as good as the first one. But and I can actually go back and still watch that movie. I never want to see Iron Man 2 or Iron Man 3 again. This is how much I dislike this movie. I rather watch Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3 was a better film than this. Spider-Man 3 was a better film than this. And the fact that my buddy, Film Master Adam, likes this movie, I don't understand why. I can't get on the man about it. Can't get on the man about it because God knows I like Dragon Ball Evolution and he supported me in that one. And so I'm not going to, you know, he can like what he wants. It's just I don't understand it. I think the movie sucks. I talked to several people that think the movie sucks. You go through this whole damn movie and not only did the beginning of the movie was corny as hell, you go, you go through this damn movie and... You think Mandarin is the villain, right? They, they show these, you know, these explosions happening all over the place, and they, they show Mandarin have like a news bulletin, sort of like was Saddam Hussein was like hidden video cameras. They 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 patch on the news. Well, Mandarin taps into the news station and interrupts, you know, televised newscast, and he he'll kill people, slaughter people, you know, live. So we're like, okay, can't wait, man, fucking Mandarin, fucking awesome, right? Then we finally get to the part where Tony Stark confronts the Mandarin, and we find out it, it was just a joke. That the fact that the real villain hired an actor to play a character named Mandarin to basically just distract everybody. Mandarin is not even a character in this movie. Mandarin was just there. You know, he, he was just a some guy who likes to drink all the time. A piece of fucking shit. And then, I mean, Tony Stark is barely in the fucking suit. As a matter of fact, he spends more time controlling robotic versions of the suit than he is in the suit. This movie felt like goddamn planes, trains, and automobiles. Tony Stark ends up in fuck after his house gets blown up by what we thought was the Mandarin. He ends up in Tennessee, and basically he's hitchhiking to get back to fucking California. And then in the meantime, or wherever the fuck Tony Stark, I think he's in California. And then in the meantime... He's, he's partnered with his little kid, and him and his little kid are bonding. It's so fucking stupid. And then we got the Iron Patriot. That's all fucked up. And then, you know, people are like, well, I'm glad Pepper Potts has a better part in this movie. Fuck Pepper Potts. How the fuck is that the world's most beautiful woman? Fuck that goddamn bitch. This movie fucking sucks, people. Oh, my God. And then she's the one that kills the final villain. She's, like, all super-powered and shit. Boom. She's in the Iron Man suit. And they give her all these unnecessary parts. Like, fuck you, ho. And then, you know, and then at the end of the movie, Iron Man gets the fucking metal pieces taken out of his chest. So he doesn't need the thing anymore. And then he throws the goddamn his energy pack into the ocean. Like, I don't need this no more. 
If you could fucking do that, why didn't you do that in the second movie when the shit was poisoning your blood system and you were gonna die? If you could have just went in surgery at any goddamn time, why didn't you do it? They make no goddamn sense. The best part about this movie was one, Stan Lee's cameo. Two, the end of the fucking credits where we have Mark Ruffalo. That is the best. And matter of fact, when the credits go on, you get this corny ass fucking like Batman 66 fucking um pop music. Oh my god, this movie sucked. Everybody I talked to said this movie sucked. This movie sucks ass. As much as I hate Ghost Rider Spirit Revengers, I would go watch that over this. It didn't feel like Iron Man at all. Tony Stark went around with fucking machine guns and handguns more than he went around in the Iron Man suit. And when he did have the suit, it was a robotic suit. He wasn't in it. And then, at the end of the movie, where the, the climax is, you see Tony Stark and Rhodey, and they both have, like, fucking guns and magnums and shit in their hand. And it looked like fucking Lethal Weapon 2. I mean, oh my god, this movie was horrible. Well, you know, I mean, that's all I really want to say about the film. I personally did not like it. I thought it was the worst comic book movie I've seen in a long, long time. Maybe not the worst comic book movie ever. Maybe I exaggerated on that one. But it's still pretty bad. One of the worst ones in a long time, especially after, you know, The Great Avengers. you think they'd have something better than this. But, um, not really good guy. I didn't enjoy it. Uh, they, they totally fucked everybody with the Mandarin. You know, the, I mean, they just, not only did they screw Iron Man fans, they screwed comic book fans. And they, I think they screwed, you know, the the average fan because they thought this was going to be the villain. The, the villain ended up being some buck tooth retarded guy who's injecting everybody with this fucking stupid ass virus shit to regenerate and bullshit. So we don't even get the Mandarin. Everything you let up, it, it, it's a fucking disgrace. I mean, this movie it wasn't good guys and um that's all i really have to say <laughs> so i uh, hope you enjoyed my little seven minute rant but uh, i'm gonna go rest now um i didn't get much sleep cause i had to go see that fucking movie yesterday and i missed sleep so i went to the movie before i went to work so um anyway guys if you've seen the movie tell me in the comment box did you like this piece of shit if you do tell me why you liked it and if you hate it, tell me why you hated it. And, and I really want to get other people's opinion on this one. Because it can't just be me that thinks this movie is god awful. Not just as an uh, Iron Man movie, but a Marvel movie and a comic book movie in general. Um, I, I see no competition for Man of Steel later this year. Or Wolverine or Thor or Kick-Ass or any other comic book film compared to this movie. I don't see any competition with them. This movie's going to make a lot of money. Be because everybody wants to go see Iron Man. You know, you don't know how bad it sucks until after you see it. So everybody's still going to fork out the money. This movie's still going to be blockbuster. Um, but, to be honest, it's just not that good, not worth the money. So that's my opinion. Until next time, guys, I'm Storm Zink, and that's my opinion.